Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at the complex pre envelope and complex envelope or the complex baseband equivalent of a passband signal. Let us continue that discussion today. Let us look at the complex pre envelope and the complex baseband equivalent of a uh, quadrature carrier modulated signal that is a QCM signal. So, let us start by considering a QCM signal. We already already seen QCM. QCM stands for quadrature carrier modulation. QCM denotes quadrature carrier quadrature carrier modulation. And the QCM modulator, there is a quadrature carrier quadrature. Remember, QCM, we said quadrature carrier modulation is there is a carrier cosine 2 pi FCT, all right, and another carrier sine 2 pi FCT. The phase difference between these two carriers is uh, pi by 2 or 90 degrees. Therefore, these two carriers are in quadrature, hence, they are orthogonal, and two independent message signals can be modulated on these quadrature carriers, all right. So, that is the basic. Uh, that is a basic description of quadrature carrier modulation. Okay. So, let us recall that a quadrature carrier modulator signal x t is given as x t equals well x i t cosine 2 pi f c t minus x q t sin 2 pi f c t is a cosine carrier sin carrier x i t is the remember this is your x i t is the in phase signal and x q t is the quadrature signal, is the signal in quadrature. Okay. And these are the two independent message signals which have been modulated on the cosine carrier and sine carrier which are orthogonal. Okay. So, now let us try to express, let us try to find the complex pre envelope and the complex envelope of this pass band signal. Okay. And of course, notice that these two signals x i and x q, all right, these two that is your x i comma x i t comma x q t, these are naturally your these are naturally your base band signals that is there are centered on the zero frequency and therefore, they are modulated on the carriers all right. So, these are uh, basically have are centered at zero sig frequency and have maximum frequency f m that is from minus f m to f m both the in phase and quadrature uh, message signals. Okay. Now, let us look at, now I can write this as, remember this is x i t cosine 2 pi f c t, I can write therefore, x of t, I can express it as cosine t as x i t and cosine t can be expressed as e to the power of j 2 pi f c t plus e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t divided by 2 that is your alternative uh, equivalent way of writing cosine 2 pi f c t plus. Now, I am going to express sin 2 pi f c t as x q t times e to the power of j 2 pi f c t minus e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t divided by 2j. So, this is basically your cosine 2 pi f c t is e to the power of j 2 pi f c t plus e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t divided by 2 
sin 2 pi of ct is e to the power of j 2 pi of ct minus e to the power of minus j 2 pi of ct divided by 2 j. Now, let us collect the terms belonging to e to the power of 2 j 2 pi of ct and the terms belonging to e to the power of minus j 2 pi of ct separately. All right. So, I can write this as well x i t that is I can write it extracting the terms corresponding to e to the power of j 2 pi of ct half there is a factor of half times x i t x i t minus j uh, this is a minus sign sorry this is a minus sign over here and there is a factor of half x i t plus j x q t into e to the power of j 2 pi f c t plus half x i t minus j into e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t. All right, so, I have written, I have collected the terms belonging to e to the power of j 2 pi f c t and the terms belonging to e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t. Now, you can see this is of course, x i t plus j x q t, this is in the base band correct, because x i t and so these two terms are in the base band. Now, e to the power of j 2 pi f c t this shifts base band to shifts to f c all right. So, this is the modulation property shifts to f c and this shifts to minus f c. Therefore, if you look at the positive, so we have a base band component there is x i t plus j x q t and x i t minus j x q t these are the two base band components multiplying by e to the power of j 2 pi f c t shifts it to the positive frequency that is uh, positive frequency band centered around f c multiplying by e to the power of minus j uh, multiplying by e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t shifts it to uh, minus correct minus f c that is the negative frequency band. Therefore, the positive frequency band of this pass band signal corresponds to the first component right x i that is half x i t plus j x u t e to the power of j 2 pi f c t that is if you look the signal corresponding to the positive frequency band centered around f c that is basically this half x i t plus j x q t e to the power of j 2 pi f c t. And if you look at the negative frequency band that is the frequency band centered around minus f c that is the component half x i t minus j x q t into e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t all right. So, basically if you what we have reasoned is this corresponds to the this component corresponds to the corresponds to the positive frequency band that is x f or x f greater than 0 this corresponds to the corresponds to the negative frequency band that is uh, this term which is uh, x i t plus j x, x i t minus j x u t to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t. This corresponds this corresponds to the negative frequency band. Therefore, now realize that the complex pre envelope basically is twice the spectrum of the complex p envelope is twice the spectrum corresponding to the positive frequency band of the signal correct. And therefore, the complex pre envelope of this signal 
remember complex pre envelope equals twice the positive frequency band signal which is basically equal to twice we have already isolated the signal corresponding to the positive frequency band so this is twice into half xi t plus j x q t e to the power of j 2 pi f c t which is basically x i t plus j x q t e to the power of j 2 pi f c t. This is the complex pre envelope therefore, this is the complex pre envelope of the QCM signal x t that is x i t plus a j x q t e to the power of j 2 pi f c t. Let us also denote this by x p of t that is if I can call this as x p of t or x p of t is the complex pre envelope all right. So, the complex pre envelope of the QCM signal which is x i t cosine 2 pi f c t minus x q t sin 2 pi f c t is x i t plus j x q t into e to the power of uh, j 2 pi f c t. That is the twice the signal corresponding to the positive frequency band of this pass band signal. Okay, so, let me, let me write this again x i t plus j x q t into e to the power of j 2 pi f c t. This is the complex pre envelope, okay. this is the this is the complex pre envelope of x t. Now, the complex base band equivalent is given by the complex pre envelope and shifting it by minus f that is shifting it by minus f c or shifting it by f c to the left that is multiplying by e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t. So, therefore, complex base band or the complex envelope x tilde t is x tilde t is the complex pre envelope into e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t which is x t x i t plus j x q t into e to the power of j 2 pi f c t this is the complex envelope into e to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t and this is equal to basically simply your now you can see this is simply x i t plus j x q t this is your x tilde t which is the complex envelope you can see this is basically the complex envelope or the complex base band equivalent of the QCM signal x t. This is the complex envelope complex base band
of the QCM signal, the quadrature carrier modulated signal XOR. So, the complex baseband equivalent of the quadrature carrier modulated signal interestingly is XIT plus J times XQT that is the in phase component XIT plus J times the quadrature message signal XQT. Okay. So, what we have done here is basically we have taken the standard quadrature carrier modulated signal which arises very frequently in a typical communication system. It is a passband signal derived the complex pre envelope of that signal that is XIT plus J XQT into e to the power of J 2 pi FCT and also derived the complex baseband equivalent or the complex envelope of this signal which is simply XIT plus J times XQT where XIT is the in phase signal XQT is the quadrature. All right, so, we will stop here and continue with other aspects in the subsequent modules. Thank you.